Hello parents, it's been a few weeks since I've spoken to you through a video, so I thought I'd do that now. Um, there's obviously lots of messages we want to give you. Um, first of all, it's not possible for us to predict what's going to happen over the next few weeks, although it does look currently that um, the students in year 7, 8 and 9 are likely not to be able to come into school until September at the earliest. Students in year 10 and year 12, we are making plans for them to come into school for some face-to-face -face lessons with their teachers before the end of term. So therefore we're really concerned that if this is the case, there are hundreds of students of your children that are not going to have been in school for five months. For those students, the best we can do is make the online school as good as possible. And make sure we're able to support them with any wider issues they're having, whether these are related to their schoolwork, their learning, or their wider welfare. Now before the holiday, we asked you to complete an online survey, and over 180 of you did. And we've gone through all the feedback that you gave us, and we've made some changes, so I want to tell you about those. From the 15th of June, all students in year 7, 8 and 9 will have one scheduled live lesson with a teacher every day. These lessons will happen at the same time for each student every day, although the times will be different for Year 7, Year 8 and Year 9. The live lessons will be done through the Google Meet link, uh, which is on their Google Classroom for the subject for that lesson. We will be sending an email to students to explain more about how this works and the timetable for their live lessons. Also, form tutors will be phoning each student in their form group at least once every two weeks just to check in with them, let them know we're here for them and talk through any issues and concerns they have. So you should be able to expect a call from the form tutor at least once every two weeks between now and the end of term. If your child does not receive a call, please email the form tutor or the head of house. Useful email addresses can be found on the school website. If you click this link and scroll down as another link to useful email addresses. If your child is having any problems at all accessing the online school, then please remember they need to email itsupport at uaesouthbank.org.uk and they'll try and help to fix the problem with you. If you or your child are having any difficulties that you feel we could help with generally, or if they just need to talk to a member of staff about anything at all, then please email the head of house or any other member of staff that you want to. Our student services team, that's all the heads of house, and our SEN team are making phone calls to students and their families every day. That's their main job at the minute, and there's a lot of them doing that. They will try and support you in any way they can. Just email and ask for a call. Now, I want to bring your attention to the school website and YouTube channel. From the parent survey, uh, it seems like at that time, only about 50% of parents had actually been onto the school website and YouTube channel. <coughs> you can see here, the website is now completely set up to work as an online school. There's lots of links for parent support, activities for lockdown, additional home learning resources and other information to help you. Please visit the website, spend some time going through it and have a look what's there. Also, if you scroll down through the front page of our website to where it says more videos, you get to the YouTube channel. The teachers and other staff Heads of House and others are producing a lot of content, a lot of videos to help your students with their learning. These activities are designed to be engaging and interesting and to make sure that they feel part of the community and they've got lots to do that's interesting to them at home. Have a look through the various playlists. We've got for Year 6 parents, some activities here. We've got drama challenges. We've got a series of science lessons that I've done. Um, we've got other lessons, we have UAE Reads, so we have teachers reading a book with your children online. We have a sonnet today, a bit of Shakespeare every day. Um, sit form students, we've got some videos for them here. Loads of PE and dance activities for them to get involved in, they can do that every day. And also online assemblies. Remember, this is additional. 
Every day they should be having a form time activity and three lessons that are accessible through Google Classroom, plus once a week an assembly for them to watch. Go through the YouTube channel with your students, have a look what's there and keep them engaged. Children of key workers, remember you are entitled, if, your child, if you are a key worker, you are entitled to send your child into school every day, if you'd like to. School will be open from 10 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon for them, and they will be supervised. If you want to take advantage of this, then you must email Miss Moses and let her know which days you would like your child to come into school so that we can prepare for it. Tomorrow, Friday, is an inset day for teachers. There will be no lessons set through Google Classrooms tomorrow. The reason we brought the inset day forward, it should have been in July, is because we need to train ourselves to get better at using the online school, and there's no point waiting a few weeks to do that, we need to do that now. So, there's not going to be any lessons set tomorrow for your children, but there's lots to do that's available through the website and the YouTube channel. Now, Year 10 and Year 12 students. If your child is in Year 10 or Year 12, you'll be receiving an email in the next week giving you and your child details of the times that they'll be able to come into school for face-to-face -face sessions with staff, with their teachers. The email will also set out the procedures and structures that we're putting in place to make sure that this happens safely. There will be social distancing at all times within school. They'll be given a timetable that sets out which sessions they can come in for. Most students will be invited in for three two-hour sessions per week. For most students, this will start in the week of the 21st of June, but we are phasing it in. So some students might find that they start a bit later in that week or even at the start of the next week. And the first time they're in school, they're going to be taken through the procedures and expectations that they need to follow to say, stay safe while they are in school. There will be no football games in the playground or anything like that. There will be social distancing at all time and other things that they have to do. Finally, I want to talk to you, and I feel I really have to talk to you, about the school's response to the killing of George Floyd and the resulting Black Lives Matter protests in America. Watching these events as they unfold would have triggered a lot of emotion, a lot of thoughts and a lot of questions in all of our students and I'm sure for all of you as parents and certainly for all of us as staff. As parents and teachers we all need to ask questions of ourselves about what we are doing and what we can do to ensure that our children grow up in a world where they are empowered to confront these issues and support each other in this very diverse community that we live and work among to make this a better world for everyone. Racism harms us all. It harms individuals and it harms society as a whole. You will know, I hope you know, that one of the key values that we endeavour to build in our students is social responsibility. This encompasses the responsibility that we all have to live in each other's lives, to learn and attempt to understand the lives and experiences of others that we live near, go to school with and work with and to know how to express our experiences of injustice and then do something to prevent and work against that injustice. A really important job, part of our job as a school, is to make sure that our students know what they can do to change their world, to challenge and take action when they need to. Whether this comes from being a victim of racism or a witness to it, it is not good enough to be a silent bystander. We need to make sure that our students, your children, know what they can do to take action and challenge this prejudice when it happens. Right now, teachers are preparing activities where students are going to be asked to share their experiences, their feelings, their thoughts that have come from the killing of George Floyd. And then learn about the wider causes, the historical context, and the societal structures that lead to this injustice, this prejudice, and this conflict. We would love all of our students to get involved in these activities. Please join in with them 
have those conversations with them and help them to get involved. And as a staff, we're looking at what more we can do to ensure we're providing the right environment, the right curriculum, and the right activities that give all our students the capacity to challenge racial injustice in their world. Do let me know, please do let me know. If you feel we should be doing more, or have anything else you want to tell me regarding this. So that's all I have to say now. I do hope that you can stay in touch with us and please stay safe. Goodbye.